Hey, what's going on guys? Today I wanted to show you how to use custom web fonts on your website using the fontsquirrel.com web font generator. Uh, here I have a test website set up on my local server. If we look at the folder for this website, it just has an index.html file and a CSS folder here. Inside the CSS folder we have a style.css file. If we look at this file, it just has a body element with a font family set to Verdana. So let's hop on over to fontscroll.com and as you can see they have a lot of different fonts to choose from. <clears throat> let's uh, just choose the top one here, the Source Sans Pro. And when you find a font that you like, be sure that you check the license to make sure that you're allowed to use this font on your website. Uh, here we see that this font has the open font license, so it's okay for us to use. Uh, so let's go ahead and download this OTF file. And once that OTF file downloads, let's go ahead and extract it. Okay, so when we downloaded the Source Sans Pro, it gave us all these different fonts. It gave us the bold, the italic, the light. Uh, for this tutorial, we're just going to use the Source Sans Pro regular .otf file. So let's hop on back over to Font Squirrel, and let's go to the Web Font Generator. Now, what this Web Font Generator does is it takes that one OTF file and it generates everything that we're going to need in order to use that font on our website. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to add fonts and we're going to choose Source Sans Pro regular.otf and before we can download our kit we have to agree that we've read over the licensing and that we know that we're allowed to use this font on our website so go ahead and agree to that and once you do that then you have the option to download your kit now once your font kit is downloaded go to your downloads folder and let's extract that zip file Okay, now we can see all the files that that font generator created. Uh, you can see we have an EOT file here, SVG, TTF. Uh, what these are, are they're different font files that are going to be used in different browsers uh, for compatibility. Uh, what we're going to want to do is copy all the files that that font generator created. And we are going to paste these into our own website. Uh, specifically in the CSS directory where our own CSS file lives. Okay, now if you look at the stylesheet.css that the font generator created, if we open that up, we can see that it created the font face rule that we want to use in our own CSS file. And this font face rule already has everything we need. It has all of the uh, URLs to those font files. Uh, so let's go ahead and copy this code and then let's open up our own CSS file and let's paste that at the top. Okay now if you look at this top line here, this font family line, uh, this is the name that we're assigning to this font. So if I copy this, I can use this font now anywhere in my CSS file uh, to assign that font to any of these elements. So if I use that here at the body element, now the body will use the Source Sans Pro font that we downloaded. So let's go ahead and save that CSS file, go back to our browser, and see if everything worked. So now let's go ahead and reload that. Okay. So the new font worked, the custom font worked that we, uh, that we wanted. Um, so that's one way to do custom fonts for your website. Uh, there's a lot of different places to find these fonts. Uh, font Squirrel is one of them. 
Uh, you can also go over here to uh, Google Fonts and you can download uh, the fonts from there and then run them through the web font generator as well and uh, go through the exact same process. So uh, hopefully this tutorial was useful to you guys and I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.